Hello, Yellow Brick Roadsters. So today we are going to talk about how to get ungated in toys. That is something I've been getting a lot of questions about. And it is quarter three. And we are going to be moving into quarter four soon. And you're going to want to get ungated before quarter four starts. All right. So today let's talk about how you go and get ungated. So I got my little check marks here to make sure I'm going to show you some screens. Some of them are um, like mine is going to be state specific and you're going to need to use yours for your state. But first, let's get started. So how to get ungated in toys. Let's see. Let's go. Um, oops. <laughs> my Canva was open. Okay. First, you need to have a business, right? You are going to run this as a business. So let's become a business. You can be a sole proprietor, an LLC, S Corp, whatever you want. Talk to your accountant to find out which one is best for you. I am a sole proprietor. Uh, I don't have a partnership. I don't have an LLC. I just do most of the things by my social security number. But I did apply for an EIN number. I highly, highly suggest you do this. You just go to the IRS's website, irs.gov. In the search bar, I typed in apply for an EIN. An EIN is an employer identification number. You do not have to have employees. You do not have to be an employer to have an EIN number. So go through this. Fill this out. It's very simple. You immediately get a number. Like it's like instant. You'll get a number. It'll be a number that you'll be able to use when uh, a vendor, which is what the, one of the vendors we're going to talk about later, is going to ask you for your EIN number or your social security number. You don't want to give them your social security number. So get an EIN number and give them that. All right. That's step number one. Number two, once you have that, go to your state website. I live in New York State, so I go to the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance. You want to register as a sales tax vendor. Here in New York, it is so simple. You apply online. You fill out a form. You instantly, well, maybe it wasn't instantly. I think within a day. They sent me an email that had all my information. And then a week later in the mail, I got my certificate. Of course, with COVID, things could possibly be delayed. But I still had the email, which gave me the number, which is the number I needed to be able to set up wholesale accounts. Most wholesales, wholesale accounts will ask you for this number. This number allows you to purchase things without paying sales tax. If you live in a sales tax-free state, you'll have to find out what the rules are there. I'm not 100% sure because I unfortunately do not live in one of those states. I live in a very high tax state. So um, it's very easy. I got a little certificate. I got my number. I got my number memorized. I even took a picture of it. So it's on my phone because sometimes I can actually use that at the store. I used to be able to use it at TJ Maxx. But then you can take that and go into like Walmart, go to customer service and say, I would like a, uh, a tax free account. And they will give you a little vendor card. It's a little white card. Put it in your purse or wallet. And you have it. So when you go through the checkout, you get your items tax-free if they are to be resold. Saves you money, right? That's great. So apply online. Get that number. You will need it. So next, I wanted to talk about what you need. I'm going to open up my, my PowerPoint so my sister just started and I am using her account. She was so nice to let me take some screenshots. I cropped off the top because it says all it says up here anyhow is, let me make this big screen so you don't need to see me. So all it says up here is, um, is Amazon and, and her screen name. So in this case, this is going to show you that in order to get ungated, you need to apply to get ungated. So you go to uh, Amazon and you want to make sure before you go and buy things wholesale that you are actually gated in it. Don't assume that you're in gate you're, that you are gated in things because sometimes you will be not gated. So you click on your inventory when you're in seller central, click on add a product, which I highlighted right there to show you. And then down below 
you would find the product that you wanted to sell. And in this case, I did the Toy Story pull string woody. I clicked on um, show variations and I found the one I wanted. And then you click on apply to sell. If it says, go ahead and list it, you can list it. You don't need to uh, go through wholesale and stuff like that. So click on apply to sell and, and then this will come up. And as you can see here, it says a selling application. You need approval to sell toys in new used refurbished. In this case, it does not say you need approval in Toy Story. It just says you need the category of toys. So there are two different things that you will need to get approved in when it comes to toys. You need to get approved in the toy category itself, or they actually call it a subcategory. And then you need to get approved in specific brands. So Disney... Nerf, Funko, Lego, uh, Sesame Street, Peppa Pig, all those have their own brand gating in addition to the toy. But first you need to start with toys and getting ungated in toys. So let's go to the next screen. So when you get to that and you click on the button that says go ahead and apply, this screen's going to come up. It's going to ask you are you a reseller, a distributor, a manufacturer, or both? In this case, you're going to click on the reseller button, and then you fill out your information, and then hit submit, and it will come up with this screen. It's going to tell you that you need to have at least one purchase from a manufacturer or distributor. So it must be a wholesale account. You cannot go into Walmart and purchase these items and submit your receipt. You need to have an invoice. Notice where it says invoice. It must be an invoice. I have seen where people have submitted a packing list, but that does not work. It has to be the invoice. So your document must be dated as of today, which is J July 15th. It has to be dated on or after January 17th. So it has to be within 100 and days, 180 days. It must include your name and address on it. So when you go to place your order, make sure it is you, whatever your account name is under an Amazon. If you and your husband are doing it together, or you and your wife, or you and a partner, whatever, make sure that when you place the order, it's whoever's name is on your Amazon account. Okay. Make sure that the invoice includes the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor. I'm going to show you an invoice that I use by the company EE Distribution, and I'll show you where it has all these things on it. Show the combined purchase of at least 10 units. Uh, if you want, you can omit the pricing so you can edit that out. I don't. I usually will just submit it because I don't care if they know how much I've paid for it. And then please note that we may ver verify your submitted documentation by contacting the product vendors you did identify in your application. So you would upload that. You can also make additional comments. So sometimes I will say maybe the specific ASIN um, or if I am applying for, well, actually we'll talk about that later. All right. So then the document must meet the following requirements. So then you also need to provide pro photos of the product or its packaging. Okay. This just changed well, I did not have to do this last April when I got ungated. And I think last fall, I started to see where people had to do this. So it used to be you could place an order. And as soon as your order was submitted, uh, usually within a few hours, an invoice was created. Even before the product shipped, you could take that invoice and get ungated. Now they're saying you must take photos of the items and send them in. They have to be live photos, not just something you're going to grab off from the computer. They clearly need to display all sides of the product or its packaging. So close, close up photos. They need to be able to read every detail on the product. Take multiple pictures. I mean, if you have a, a box, let's say a square box, you will take pictures of all six sides. That's four sides, the top and the bottom, and submit it to them. Include any model number, product name, or both. 
include the name and physical location of the business or manufacturer and important information must be in the country's oh important information must be in the country's local language so make sure it is in english So I was saying, so then once you do that, you would upload that and submit it, okay? And that would get you ungated in toys. Next is ungating in a specific brand. In this in this instance, I used an ASIN that belongs to Nerf. It's a Nerf gun. And I guess they call them Nerf blasters, not guns. And um, so in this case, it's almost identical to the other one on getting ungated in the toys. Again, you need to have an invoice that is 180 days. It has to have your name and address the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor. You have to show a combined purchase of at least 10 items. You need, and you can again, omit the pricing. And of course they can call the person. So you upload that. Um, I cropped out the information down here because it didn't fit in the, in the screen, but you just put in your name, information, email, phone number, that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's get to the good stuff. We are going to go shopping. So let's go shopping. So right here we have EE Distribution. They have a website called entertainmentearth.com. That is their retail store. Then they have a wholesale, which is EE Distribution. So you go to eedistribution.com. You're gonna to wanna to click on the link to create an account they will ask you for your reseller's information. They will ask you for your EIN or social security number. So that's why I say get that stuff done first. And it is, it's quick. Like you can get that stuff done in the morning. And by the afternoon, you should have, as long as your state is quick like mine is, everything's automated. So it came really, really fast. And that was last January. And by the afternoon, I would have that information. I could come right on here and create my, my account. Now, EE Distribution will have somebody review your account, approve it, and then they give you a phone call, or at least they did last year. I don't know if anything has changed, but they called me and they kind of pretty much just welcomed me and said, if you have any questions, this is who my go-to go person is and all that kind of stuff. EE Distribution is in California. So shipping to the East Coast is expensive. I just want to give you a heads up. The thing to remember when you go to get ungated in things is you are paying to get ungated and you are getting product for it. You are not most of the time going to make any money. You are lucky if you break even. So let's say, uh, for instance, I bought something and I spent $150. I'm lucky if I get that $150 back. If I got $100 of it back, I'm excited because I paid $50 to get ungated in whatever product it could be. And I can tell you that, well, I'll show you this page right here. These are my, the orders I've placed on, on EE distribution so far. And you can see my first order was 672, 65, 72, 568. I'm not even sure I ever even broke even on any of these. But all of these opened me up to brands that let me buy them out in the wild when I'm RAing, And it has been very, very beneficial. I have a few brands that I sat on the fence on for a while. One of them was Sesame Street. And I kept debating whether or not I wanted to get ungated in it. I wanted to see if it was worth it in the long run, if I saw enough of those items to make it worth it. And I finally took the plunge. I think it was maybe February time frame. I said, yeah, tickle me Elmo. Of course I want to get ungated in Sesame Street. So there are some brands that I applied and purchased and I learned my lesson because when I got the items in, I went to list them and apply to get ungated. I was already ungated. That's why I said, don't buy something unless you know you're gated. I just assumed at the beginning I was going to be gated in every toy brand. And I wasn't. There were toy brands I was not ungated in. And there was ones like Play-Doh that you can automatically get ungated in. Or at least you used to. I don't know if you still can. But I applied for uh, just a generic Play-Doh and I got auto approved. So check and see before, once you get ungated in the toy itself, see if you need that brand. For instance, on that toy story I showed earlier, 
it didn't say I needed to get ungated in Toy Story. It just said I needed to get ungated in toys to sell Toy Story. So just check that before you purchase it. Okay, so let's go. And um, so let's look at some of the items that you can purchase. Oh, before we do that, one more thing. I highly, highly, highly suggest you look at getting liability insurance. Amazon requires it, but I mean, they say they require it. They can ask for you, ask it for you at any time. I've not heard of anybody where they've asked. Once I had my first 10,000 month, I, I think originally it was if you had three of those in a row, then it was mandatory you had to get it. I don't know if things have changed because I just went and got it last fall. And, um, and I have the insurance. I went through a company called Ashlyn, Ashlyn Hayden. Let me see if I can pull that up here on the screen. Let me put in Ashlyn. Ah, my gosh, I cannot type today. Ashlyn Hayden. Hayden. Here we go. Hayden Insurance. Okay, so it's ecom.insure. So go here. If you Google her on Facebook, or not on Facebook, on uh, in on YouTube, if right here where you are, <laughs> if you Google her, you will see that the, she's been on some shows where they have. I'm sure, I saw her on um, Jason T. Smith's or either the Bearded Picker. I can't remember what show, and that's how I heard about her. And I I used her. I went. I caught. I contacted her there's a form up here i think you can fill out get a quote so i say fill this out you just answer some pretty generic questions i'm a reseller like what type so if you do like private label white label your insurance is going to be higher uh because you have a little more responsibility if something goes wrong and then you just fill this out and it was it's all really based upon where you live. So I know that when I filled it out, I got a quote and I said, oh, you got you got my address wrong. I think it was like a thousand dollars. And I said, oh, my ad, my address is wrong. Name was right, but my address was wrong. And they said, oh, OK, we'll fix it. Well, when they came back, it dropped down to like seven hundred dollars a year. And she says, yeah, it's all based upon your zip code and where you live. So for me in New York, it was cheaper than whatever that address that address was. It wasn't a New York address. Um, so I highly suggest you do that. If you're going to be selling toys, all it takes is one kid to be playing with a Fisher Price and the five-year-old gives it to their one-year-old sister and the sister's chewing on the head and the head pops off for some reason and uh, the, the child chokes on it. And who do they go after? you uh, I know from experience that <clears throat> excuse me I have a friend uh, I have a friend whose daughter uh, had a child and the child so her grand my friend's granddaughter was in her crib sleeping in the heater in their room in their apartment overheated and she got brain damage and they got a lawyer because it was a malpractice or whatever it's called you know civil case and their lawyer said you're going to go after everybody they bought it from home depot so they went after the manufacturer they went after who transported it from the manufacturer to home depot then they went after home depot like they went anybody who touched that product they put into the lawsuit that was an eye opener for me to know that well wait a minute i'm going to walmart and i'm buying this toy and then I'm sending it to Amazon, even though I didn't make it and, and they could go after Fisher Price, they could go after Walmart, they could go after me, they could go after Amazon. And even if I'm not going to end up in the long run paying liability wise for it, I still have to represent myself in court, which is money, costs money. So I highly suggest you at least reach out and find out how much it is if you decide not to do it at least you have an idea of how much it would cost to get something it doesn't cost anything to get a quote so i highly recommend this agency that's who i've been using and uh, and i'm i'm very very happy with them all right so back to 
EE distribution. Let's look at their website. So let's say you know for a fact you want to sell Legos, okay? You can sort by company. You can sort by theme and by product type. So in this case, we're going to go right to Lego. Um, well, I don't see Lego. Let's see if it's here. Here we go, Lego. Okay, so here are some Lego products. I will tell you. So if it says temporarily out of stock, you means you can order it as long as it says back ordered. Sometimes you cannot order some items. Now, this item is one that I ordered. Uh, mine was red. And I will show you later on my invoice what happened with this one. But So I'm going to click on this so you can look a little bit more. So you have to order 10 of them. This comes per piece and it says it comes 12 okay so you have to order 10 but it comes in cases of 12 so this one would cost you $26.88 to get ungated in lego i mean that's so cheap now to sell this probably you wouldn't make any money the manufacturer's minimum advertised price that you can list this at is 12 is 2.99 but you're paying $224. I mean, there's not much meat on the bones of that one. Now, this does say no Amazon or eBay sales permitted. This is what happened to me. I ordered this on my large order that I had last April, my $600 something dollar order. I ordered this, but it was in red, but it was one of these little mini boxes. And it's not a Lego piece, it's just like a box. So I ordered this and everything takes forever to ship. Um, let me see. All right, here's my invoice. I just want to show you. Down here, this is my April order. This is all of the items that shipped. So I ordered on April 2nd. I was having stuff still sent to me in June. And then there was actually something in September they finally ended up just canceling. Once you get ungated in toys and you send the photo and you send all that stuff to them, they don't usually ask you for the picture. Now they may, but not always. If they do not ask you for the picture and you have this invoice, you can submit that Lego. So what happened to me was they sent me a letter and they said, hey, you need to sign this document that says you are not going to sell this Lego on Amazon. And I said, well, I'm not going to, I didn't sign it. So they canceled it. You'll see down here, item right here. Item canceled, item canceled due to map item by EED, no fee applied. So that 224 that I paid, those 12 of them, should be up here. I don't see it listed. It must be not on this invoice anymore. But it was on my invoice originally. So they took it off. Oh, that's that September one. So they took that off because it was back ordered when I ordered. But I had already in April got ungated in Lego. So I didn't care if I didn't get it. I got ungated in it. So that was pretty exciting. All right. So let me go back to this. So there's that one Lego. And you'll find that there are some Lego items that you cannot sell on Amazon. And that can be challenging if you really do want to flip them. And it also said no on eBay. Now, people will say if you are, if, um, if you don't care and you're not going to ever place another order with EED, then go ahead and just break their rules. I personally kind of, I mean, EED is nice because there's always new toys coming out. So I like to keep a good relationship with them because I want to be able to keep using them to get ungated and stuff. Uh, all right. So this is like, this is coming in August. This would be cool for school. Let's see if this one can be sold. 
Oh, so this one is also no Amazon or eBay sales permitted. Okay, so that might be out. So even though this one right here is not a toy, you would not use this to get ungated in toys. You would use this to get ungated in Lego. I'm going to see. I don't want to spend too much time looking at this one. You can kind of play around and find something that might work. I was just kind of looking to see what they had here. That might be good. Something that's not going to be expensive. Oh, and you can sort by price also. So let's see. Um, you know, like, well, that's a hardcover book. They have some like soft cover books that aren't that expensive. The other thing is, is if your kids are in school, it's nice to go on here and order something that you can use to get to gift to the teacher or something like that. Again, if it's not costing a lot of money, it's not going to hurt you by not being able to resell it. So you can do some, do something else with it. Um, all right. I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend too much time on Lego one, but I did want to show you some other stuff that is kind of, kind of neat. So let me do, um, so one of the things is I'm just going to put in Marvel. I can see if I can find what I'm what I want to tell you when I want to show you. Okay, so here's one for instance. Um, so this is Marvel. Well, that's not a really good one. Hold on, let me let me find a different one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, no, that's not good either. All right, come on, come on, Ed, tell me, show me what I want us to be able to use to help. Um, I don't think that's something I see very often that I am gated in. Uh, no, that was not good either. So what I'm looking for is a Funko Pop that has Funko and Marvel, but something that would make a difference in getting ungated. So I'm trying to find something like that, but I don't see anything right now. You're making it hard on me. All right, so like, look at this. If you wanted, if you needed to get ungated in Marvel, this is a Marvel classic pin mate wooden figure. I mean, they're nothing great, but they're only two dollars. So it would only cost you twenty four dollars to get ungated in, in Marvel if that's all you wanted. I like to do what they call like a double double dip and sometimes even triple dip. So, um, well, I guess here's a Funko Pop. That's not really what I was looking for, but this will do. So here's a Funko. So you would get ungated in Funko and Avengers, right? If you're gated in, in Avengers. So check and see. What you can do is right here where it says see all Funko, whatever. Sometimes you'll see it and there'll be a whole bunch of ones. So let me try and find something else. So like this one is $6.60, six to a pack. So one of the things that I did that I've learned that you don't have to do is I ordered two cases of this, not this one, but the one I ordered. I ordered two cases of the Funkos. Mine were little like Funko keychains. I ordered two cases so I would get the 12 because you need 10 of the same one. On the invoice, let me see if I can find it back here for a minute. It says, show the combined purchase of at least 10 units. So all you need is a combined purchase that shows that you ordered a total of 10 Funko Pops. So you can order six of Hulk and six of Spider-Man. And you've gotten your 10 Funkos to get ungated in Funko. And you can, um, well, in that case, you wouldn't be able to get ungated in Avengers, well, Spider-Man, I don't know if he's an Avenger. So just, you would have to make sure that you had 10 Avengers. Uh, let's see, what else? I was hoping my sister was going to come on today so she could remind me of some things she's thinking of. Uh, let's look at Disney. So there is a thing with Disney that you have to get ungated in Disney and then you have to get undated, ungated in like Star Wars is separate. Uh, Winnie the Pooh might be separate. 
uh, Disney princesses, they are separate. It's kind of weird. So let's see. Well, here's, um, yeah, so this is a Funko Pop. So if you use this one, you could possibly get ungated in Funko and Disney on that one. So just look for ones that are double dip. Like you wouldn't want to order this Disney keychain, even though it's not very expensive. You wouldn't want to order something like that when you can order something that can get you two things in one. Okay. Um, so trying to think of what else. Let me, well, let's just click. So this is like new arrivals. Let's look at new arrivals. So they have, let's see, top 50 best sellers, new arrival, hot off the truck. So right, Minecraft Uno game. So I ordered a Frozen 2. I was ungated in Disney and ungated in Frozen. But when Frozen 2 came out, I was gated. So I had to order something for Frozen 2 to get ungated last quarter four because that's when the movie released. So I actually ordered Frozen Uno cards. Which, by the way, I still have... On eBay. I think I only have one left though. Maybe two. Um, so this one you'll see you get ungated in Mattel and Minecraft. So you want to look for things like that. Like Monopoly. Think about things that you've been seeing on clearance that you might want to get ungated in. So like here's a Monopoly. Don't do like Monopoly Junior. Pay the little extra and get Monopoly Star Wars where you would get ungated in Monopoly and Star Wars. Or here's a Monopoly and Disney. Right? So don't do any of these other plain old ones, even though they might be a little cheaper. So you just have to kind of play around. Look at, look at, it took me a whole day for me to come up with a list. And I made a list as I saw things of things I wanted to get ungated in. And I said, okay, this is this and this. And I checked off as I was doing it. So I didn't end up ordering, let's say I didn't order um, a Monopoly Disney. And then something else that was going to get me ungated in Disney with, with something. Let's say a Barbie Disney Disney. I would make sure I was doing a Barbie something else. So, I, I mean, it was just cross posting just to make sure that my money was well spent. So, it's really because All right. So, that is EED. So, you just go ahead and order with, from them. If it's back ordered, you can order it. There's pre-orders. There are sometimes there's things in stock. And then, let's see. There's I'm just going to try and find one where you can't order. Looks like they have stuff you can order every all of already. So this is sold out. My Monopoly game. See where it says you can't even order that one. I would suggest what they have in stock when you go to get ungated. So up here there is something that says in stock. Um. Hmm. Pre-orders, really cool, expensive stuff. So they used to have one that showed what was in stock. Filter by company theme. Oh, right here, show in stock only. Okay, I highly suggest to get ungated in toys, the category itself. You will want to do that because you need to get the product here to take a picture of it. So look to what they have in stock and go with that. So let me put in, I'm going to go back up to Disney. So you can see they have 1,771 items. I'm going to show in stock only. And then I'm going to sort it by the lowest price to the highest price. We can see what we got here. All right, so this says... I said show in stock only, and this is back ordered. I don't understand. Back ordered. Sold out. Sold out. What? Oh, EED. All right. So this is the first thing that is in stock. But it comes in a case of 50. That is a lot, right? I mean, you're paying $129 
for these pins that you probably won't get more than 258 for. So keep going and look. So then another 50 back order, back ordered, back ordered, back ordered, sold out, sold out. So much for clicking on that. All right. So here's some keychains. I have used keychains and I bought my Funko Pop was a keychain. So there's eight of those and it's $26. So you could do two, two of those if you wanted to just do two of those for the price. Uh, these are in stock, these magnetic photo frames, you know. So again, if you have a child, these come three to a case. So you'd have to order four of them. They're $10.86 each. So it cost you $45, let's say. And, um, and again, you could use those and have them, your child use them in the classroom as a gift or something. So, but this would not get you ungated in toys. It would get you ungated in Disney, but not toys. It is not a toy. It is a picture frame. Same with these books. So just remember that when you go to order, make sure when you find this on Amazon that the ASIN is a toy, right? You're getting ungated in toys. So you wouldn't want a keychain for Frozen 2 unless you wanted just to get ungated in Frozen. So and Frozen and Funko. So this one right here would get you ungated in Frozen 2 and Funko. That's pretty good. Okay, so I wanted to show you another website. I forgot to open it up. So this company is called Shepper. And uh, same thing, you sign up just like you do with EED. You'll need a reseller certificate, become a customer. They are a wholesale, they are an approved wholesale. And they have a lot of toys, newly received items. I don't know. I probably won't show you a price. Yeah, I got I to gotta log in, which I'm not going to do right now. But you can go on here, and it's the same exact thing as EED. Just look around. They are on the East Coast. I, I think they're in New Jersey. So if you're on the East Coast, it is not a bad idea to look at possibly ordering from them. Because you can get some of these items and it won't cost you as much in shipping. Because shipping, I'll tell you, it, it is expensive. I ordered Batman because I wanted to get ungated in Batman. And they were just air fresheners. So just, you know, those cardboard air fresheners. Just cardboard air freshener. This big, this thin. And there was 12 of them. And I paid like $20 for them to ship a box this big. I called them and I said, can't you use the postal service? Because you could have put that in a postal box. I mean, I, it was not even priority mail. It was less weight, less than a pound. And they said they just use FedEx and UPS and whatever. And their rates were crazy, crazy, crazy expensive. So I, um, yeah, I, I like to order from them, but I'm really cautious when I do that. So there is one more I wanted to show you and I don't, I need to find out if they are still legitimate. So this is who I use to get ungated in Sesame Street. Somebody told me, or I heard through the grapevine, and I can't remember who, so I don't remember if it was like a legitimate, reputable, excuse me, um, person, but that you couldn't use these guys anymore. I'm not sure if that is correct or not. So I will post in my um, Facebook group and I'll try to remember to leave a comment down below. I'm going to, I'm going to find out if it's true that you cannot use them. Uh, all right. So toys and games and let's just click on toys. Let's shop all of them. So in text like this is not obviously not a toy. It's a winter or a, pool time. This is a very, very good brand to get ungated balls. I still have them. They are not selling. Nobody wants them. You can't even get your, well, you have to order 36 of them. They're a dollar a piece and they sell for like a four pack for $2 on Amazon. It's, it's crazy. But again, it's just a matter of getting ungated in that brand, getting ungated in Intex. So if you have a pool, you have friends or whatever, you know, order some of these, order 12 of these and you have them for your pool. 
sell them on Facebook Marketplace. Like these, I bought one of these yesterday at at um at Walmart for a dollar. They're on clearance for a dollar right now. So I mean, you'd be paying two sixty two to three twenty eight. So you you're just not going to get your money back, but it gets you ungated. So again, that's not a toy though. That's a pool. Um, so let me put in Sesame Street, and I'll show you what I use to get ungated in Sesame Street. I spelled that right. Sesame Street. Jeez. Um, here they are. These flash cards. Thing on Amazon is a little different, I think, from this. I think it might be a three pack or something. And I ha I had to just kind of mix or match them or do something. I have a few extra that I threw on eBay that are not selling. But again, it was worth. So this is 22 units at 97 cents a piece. So all I had to play, all I had to pay was that $21.34 plus shipping to get ungated in Sesame Street, which opened me up to be able to sell all the Sesame Street stuff. And specifically Elmo, like Elmo is very popular. So it is worth $21.34 to pay just to get ungated in Sesame Street. So I suggest go ahead and take a look at these. I wanted to show you my invoice. Oh, uh, where did I put it? Right here. All right. So again, this is the invoice. These are the things that I had ordered. See, that's that Batman Wiggler air freshener. Um, so there was only 12 of them. It was just so light and it was ridiculous how much it costs. I ordered Super Mario Brother pins. I still have them. <laughs> Again, something that didn't sell. These Transformers Rescue Robots. I did get, uh, I think I broke even on those. Hot Wheels and Minecraft. So it was a specific Hot Wheels. Hot Wheel Minecraft one. So that got me ungated in Hot Wheels and minecraft right i mean you might want hot wheels but make sure it's a themed hot wheel it could be a disney hot wheel uh, hatchimals those are great to get ungated in that rainbow stamp pad that was a um melissa and doug i see things from time to time i'm not sure it would it was really worth that 50 dollars to get ungated in that brand there is not enough out there this is that captain america funko pop Keychain that got me ungated in Captain America and Funko Pop. Jurassic World Matchbox. So again, double. I got ungated in Matchbox and Jurassic World. Disney Princess and Little People. So I got, again, two things. Uh, I did the Mickey Mouse gang. So Disney is different than Disney Princess. So I did the Mickey Mouse bottle opener, button magnets. I think I sold those. Polly Pockets, I still have those. Those were not worth getting ungated in because I don't think I've picked up one Polly Pocket out in the wild that has been worth flipping. Barbie Dreamtopia Mermaid Doll. I just pulled back these. They have been sitting at Amazon. They, they weren't worth it. I sent them in. So remember, I, I bought these in April. They shipped in June. I sent them to Amazon for fourth quarter hoping they would sell because they did, weren't doing so good throughout the year they sold nothing zero I didn't sell any of them I just pulled them back so I don't know what I'm gonna do I might just donate them uh, Mega Bloks and Thomas the Tank so again I got ungated in Mega Bloks and Thomas the Tank with this invoice so as you can see I kind of tried to match things up so I went I like took away my name and address because I didn't think it was worth you guys seeing that, but make sure that the bill to, well, I mean, at least the ship to bill to whatever, this has got to have your name that's on Amazon. I cannot stress that enough. It is, if it is different, they will deny it. Okay. Some people take the time and they will write the ASIN next to each item. But you do not have to have an ASIN. So let's say, for instance, these Hot Wheels Minecraft vehicles were not on Amazon. I could use this invoice, get the product, and create the listing and create a new, a new ASIN. So it does not have to have an ASIN in order for you to be able to um, get ungated. So what I would do is I would just click on any Hot Wheel, any Hot Wheel, 
click on that listing, ask to get ungated, upload this because when you're uploading, you're not uploading to get approval for an ASIN, you're uploading to get approval for a brand or a category. It does not matter what ASIN you're doing that to, okay? Um, and I think that is it. I think that's all I have for you. So what I would say is go to, um, go to the websites, first get your EIN, get your tax certificate. So I, again, I'm in New York. It was quick. It was easy. For the first year, I had to file a form with them every quarter, just pretty much saying these are my sales. I did not collect any sales tax because Amazon collects it all for me. eBay collects it all for me. So I didn't do any of that. And then in January, I got a letter from them saying, hey, you don't send us enough in sales tax, so you only need to file once a year. So now I only have to file every March. So easy peasy. And it makes it so I don't have to pay taxes on my items when I go to purchase them. And I can order wholesale. So I highly suggest you go ahead and, and do that. And then open an account at EED. They're one of the easiest ones to work with. Shepherd, I have not used them. I have not ordered from them, but I have ordered from Dollar Days and they were pretty easy too. And of course, with, with like Dollar Days, they have a bunch of products that aren't even toys. So you can order other things like the Intex pool stuff and get ungated in that. They also had like 3M sandpaper back when people were getting ungated in the brand 3M. So check out and see what else they have that you can pick up for inexpensive. And what's nice about Dollar Days is they send everything in one. So you can, um, in one shipment, so you save on shipping. We're EED piecemeal as things come in because things are just sporadic with them and don't plan on getting most things right away unless you order in stock just make sure it says in stock and get your ungating in toys okay if you have any questions please let me know i'd be happy to answer any questions you have and if i don't know an answer then you know i can see if i can get an answer for you because i know some people who have been doing this for a long time and i will try and help you out all righty Thanks so much. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, if you th th thought it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I am going to be talking about getting ungated in grocery next and show you some resources on how to do that. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.